Thank you all for coming. It's wonderful to see you all here. Fifth graders have been hard at work. We had a great time this morning putting on our first presentation of this production. Uh, I'd like to say a couple things before we begin. Um, we are lucky enough to have Max willing and gracious to uh, film our production for us. So we do ask that during the performance that you keep all electronic devices put away and save pictures until afterwards. I will ask the students to come out so you can take pictures afterwards. And we will make the video available to everyone. But in the meantime, enjoy being here. Enjoy the experience of watching the children. And please also make sure that your ringers are silent. <laughs> In ancient Greece, theater was so important that the cities would sponsor plays. Companies would come together and have contests where plays would be put on all day long, and the, those who were voted to have the finest production would be given golden laurel wreaths, very similar to those given to athletes. And so we have tried to keep to that same tradition, to hold the idea of a simple production, and in this it has been an exercise in flexibility. Children have worked very hard at learning their lines, being able to give them in such a way that the story is told by their voices and not without, or not without, not with need for any additional special effects or other things. Our story takes place in those days of ancient Greece, in a time of gods and heroes, in a time where the gods and the humans sometimes interacted, and at times in ways that would give rise to those people who could be half God and half man. This is the place where we begin. And so we will start tonight with our story of Perseus. Find these 
Shrine Heights. I must admit that the moon here is not the welcome of the king. In fact, the ascent to this narrow valley brought a terrifying sight. My Parnassus loomed and rose before me like monster stone, rising from the gloom of darkness, shrouded in sulfurous mist, as if the dreaded python would lift its threatening head. Who is this? The prophet? The oracle herself? This is a mistake. I must turn back. Stop! Who dares descend without my leave? Where is your courtesy? Is this how boys are taught in Argos? Is this some haunted house upon your block? Have courage. Knock at the door. See if anyone is home. I would turn back if the chorus of events in Argos had not demanded that I come. My kingdom is under threat. My daughter is pursued by wicked suitors, and I must learn what I can to preserve my realm. I am not a boy. I am a king. You will show respect. Boys, toys, kings, things, it's all the same to me. I do Apollo's bidding, not yours. Good day. No, wait. Do not leave. I bend my knee before Apollo. I am a supplicant for his will. Please, tell me my fate, Madame Argos. I will build for Apollo a great temple in my kingdom. If only you will share his wisdom. Since you have shown respect, I will do my best. I cannot promise that a prophecy will come, but I will try. Cleanse and shake the earth will quake, the python's breath will rise. The sulfurous fumes surround me, the oils bay and balm me. My laurel wreath to me bequeath the voice of prophecy. Apollo, lord of light and music, give me strength. Let now my sight descend into the python's night. Give voice unto this mortal's fate, this beggar of knowledge it comes to play. King of Argos, futureless son, the only gold that comes from you is from your daughter. You will have no sons, and that will do, for your own grandson will unknowingly kill you. My own grandson will kill me without knowing what he does? How can this be? What sort of killer does so without knowledge? I must return to Argos in a long way. Not being able to help her, 
You might have gotten away with it. Impossible. What do you mean? I made him say it. You? But what do you care? We all have a hand in weaving the web of faith. Even the gods. Even you, my dear Hermes. I guess this is why they call you the goddess of wisdom. I think yes. And now, your legendary cleverness must now help to turn fate into nice paper. With your help, Zeus can save this maiden in distress. My help? I don't know about that. All Zeus knows about Zeus, Cavort, and Thunder. Careful now. Careful. I bet he could knock those shoes and head off. He was just going to blow. Never. I'm far too quick and nimble for that old man. What? Better not take the chance. Thunder? No, that doesn't sound right. Kavor? Yes. Brilliant. A son shall be born of Danai and Zeus, and he shall protect her and the fate of the world. Let me just say, that is not the most original plan. What do you mean? It's a great plan. Well, Zeus has done this type of thing before. With this kind of eye thought of it. Did you? Who else thought of it, oh wise, red-eyed, just and mighty Athena? I made the thought available to you, O oh guardian and guide of thieves and boasters and liars. But stupid, I know how to make it work. I showed through the hole to allow the light of Zeus to enter, and he can do his magic without King Acrisius ever being the wiser. Excellent. On with it then. Yeah. 
Percy Polk. I have. He's called Perseus. Percy for short? No. Perseus. He would say he's a noble name. Steeped in history, such as Percy, and turns into something as simple as Percy. Next, you know, they would think he was a child of society. Foolishness. Father, you still have a chance to turn from this wickedness. Ask for forgiveness. Perhaps this will be merciful. Who needs suits? Poseidon is on my side.
Perseus is here this time. So far, I have avoided a common encounter. But this is good. He shall play right to my hands. Now I have searched the land for flowers to rival your beauty. Again, I fail. So, brother, will you come to my birthday celebration again tomorrow? Yes, and all the kingdom will come to cheer you. It will be a special day. Why will you disappear? No, I wish for you to meet my wife to be. You will look as though you have seen Medusa herself. You misunderstood me. I realize now that then I will never consent to be my wife, so I've suffered. That is good news. Surely there is some catch. No, no catch at all. Each family will come forward, get their gift, and receive the honor of getting generous. The king of Minos is said to be bringing a breast full. It's a Sparta who will bring a magic sword. But when you bring Perseus, you know I have nothing. So I'm twice the man those pompous fools. I give you my word, I would bring Medusa's head if it meant you leave me and my mother alone. Hmm. Your word, you say? Excellent. That's exactly what I require. Though if you do not succeed, you will be an actor in the state who will be in prison. Perhaps I'll throw her mother out of kindness while you're not here for her. <laughs> Why did I speak? <laughs> Why did me? What have you done? We have spoken our faith. Do not doubt me. The gods are on my side. <laughs>
I want to see what I eat. I want to see. I want to eat. You have nothing. My eye. My eye. Ooh. Here. Sit. 
Athena. What? Yes, she has sent a hero. Another? Is that all? That is not all of Camphale. This one will be no good. What do they call him? Perseus. Not much of a name. Every time it is the same. Some, some young man eager to make a name for himself decides he will be the one to face the great guard arms and tells everyone he will come here to face me. Most never even reach his place. And those who do go on to adorn our hall. This one will be no good. But Zeus is his father. Medusa! He comes! Perseus, welcome. Welcome? Is this the fame of Medusa? Where are her threats? Her poison words? Come, join me. Sit and dine. My servants will bring us wine and we will get to know each other. Tell me, how do you become such a legend at such a young age? No, she like, it is, it is my mission to kill you and bring your writhing head back to Polydectes. My writhing head? Who has told you such terrible things about me? Athena? I thought so. She's so jealous of me that she has spread this awful tale. Turn, look for yourself. No, it is a trick. That's right, Kirsten. Come to me. You are under my power. You will never escape. Turn and face me or feel the light of my serpents upon your neck. Oh, what a pretty statue you will make. Take her 
when the moon sinks low in the westward, carry the mother aloft, place her to rest in the heavens, that her beauty may be seen from afar, but never to touch her beloved.
and I thought I had to give him my daughter to save my kingdom. But you, Perseus, are a much better match. I, too, was once promised as a dad to my father. It was a horrible thing. And where's this Phineas now? In fact, here he approaches. See, yes, you are a liar and betrayer. The beautiful Andromeda was promised to me. Come now, Phineas. Can we not be reasonable? Sit, join us, have some wine. This day of celebration. Today we will celebrate only the destruction of your kingdom. If you will not give any drama to me, I'll take your by force. My army stands outside your walls. This is your last chance to give her to me. No. No. Very well. Attack. All of you, turn away. High drive. It is safe now. His army up inside. <laughs> Thank you again for coming. Enjoy your evening. <laughs>